Hi guys, and I'm back with this uh, review on a Hornby Loco. Uh, this one's on an LNER Loco. Uh, this is a Raven Q6. It's, um, I believe it's also a North Eaton Loco. Um, this is looks like by Hornby. Came out around 2014. And this number is 3418. Um, it's a good runner, lots of good things about it. It looks basic, but it's a good runner. Uh, I'll show you in the video. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? So as we start on the um, front of the locomotive, like I always do, we have the um, Great Eastern chimney there at the top, quite nice. Uh, we also have separately plied um, handrails going around the top of the boiler there. We also have a smoke box dart, which looks separately applied, I believe so in this day and age. Uh, we don't have many rivets on the front, we just have a slight few. Uh, we also have um, three lamp irons at the bottom here, along with the um, hook, as well as the uh, Leco's number, which is 3418, uh, which is quite nice. And we have a metal turned out buffers too, and we have an anemone coupling as well. As we move on to the side of the locomotive, as you can tell, it's um, an 080 locomotive, quite a big thing. Uh, we also have um, in a plain black livery of the LNER. Um, we have the number on the cab with some glazing, uh, very nice there by Hornby. We also have some steps just down here and just in the centre ish there. Um, we also have a builder's plate, I believe, uh, on the toolbox as well. We have um, plastic safety valves and whistles. We also have some washout plugs and some rivets to go with that as well. We um, we can see inside the boiler, underneath the boiler, um, the cylinders inside are not painted. Uh, but it's just black, which I think could be correct. I am unsure. And we have a massive handrail going all the way down the side of the boiler, which is correct as well. As we move on to the other side of the locomotives, there's a few differences around here. Starting off, we have the reverser rod just there as well, uh, which I think is plastic too. Um, we also have the toolbox and the builder's plate um, here as well. But then on the valve gear around here, we also have a metal part running up, uh, which could do, which could be to do with the reverser. I don't know, because it's not on the other side of the locomotive. We also have the handrails and the washout plugs as well around here, and the cab number and steps. As we move on to the cab, as you can tell, we have handrails at the side of the cab, both sides of the cabs actually. The cab inside is completely painted, it's very nice by Hornby, um, I like it. We also have glazing in there as well, and the front windows are glazed as well. As we move on to the tender, we have <coughs> the LNER lettering. We also have some handrails either side of the tender too. We've got the core rails, which is um, correct for the um, North Eastern Railway. We have some axle boxes down here which are moulded, but still nice. And we see the um, buffers, and the sp which are sprung as well. As we move on to the side of the locomotive and tender, we, like I said, we have sprung buffers. We have a handrail in the centre. We also have uh, one lamp at the top and three at the bottom. Uh, which is nice. The buffer beam is in red. We also have the hook with the buffer beam with tension lock couplings as well. And I think we also have a few rivets by the looks of it too. As we look down on the locomotive itself, as you can see the safety valves and whistles from this view, we can see the dome. Um, on the cab there is, um, cab roof should I say, there is a vent but it doesn't move unlike some locomotives. But it's still a nice touch. Um, there's no lining to talk about, you see the handrails. And as we move down to the smoke box and the chimney, the chimney you can see all the way down. Um, very nice, it's quite a nice touch there. So if you wanted to fit a smoke generator or something, you can. As we look down at the tender, the coal load is pretty nice, pretty modern coal load there. I don't think it is removable, but I could be wrong on that. You can see the water cap filler as well, um, near the railings of the tender. As you move towards the cab area, you get some toolboxes and um, some handles to play with if you're the fireman. It's all been moulded. It is black, nothing's been picked out, but still a great touch. 
as we look down at the underneath of the locomotive itself, as you can see, all eight driving wheels have pickups. From what I can see, you'll see the NEM pocket um, finger as well, the butterfly finger for the coupling. It's, I do like these, but a bit unsure, if I'm honest with you. You can see the brake rigging has been added, and there's some other details under there too. You can also see the sandpipes and the brake shoes too, that I forgot to mention. The locomotive and tender is permanently connected by the wires, and um, the connection between the tender and the loco is a screw as well, unlike the back wheel one, which most of them are not They're quite loose, and you can damage the wires. To pull the finger out, you need pliers to pull the plug out. Um, I do like this version by Hornby compared to other manufacturers. And finally, on to the underside of the tender. As you can see, the plug is there with some screws. This is where I believe you fit the sound. I'm not into DCC and sound, it's not my cup of tea, but I think this is where you fit it. Um, I'm 99% sure there is pickups on the inside of the tender um, chassis. Um, where the wheels hit, it picks up. That, I do believe, but it's hard to get a picture of it. I will try. Um, and as you see, we've got the same coupling as we have on the front, which all come separately applied. There was no separate detail in the... Um, box. So next up will be the usual second radius and um, points test with the combi controller. Um, I am intrigued if a big loco like this will do um, second radius if I'm honest with you. So here goes, let's see if it will or not, shall we? A little bit faster at the marks, but it is what it is, it? and that's um, 25 on the combi. A little fast, this seems to run pretty fast, um, really, if I'm honest with you. But yeah, it's done it anyway. Yeah, it managed that pretty well. Quite impressed with the second radius, if I'm honest with you. Next up will be um, a running session with the locomotive, and I'll see you at the end, so here it goes. A little bit better than the points, that was a 20. Um, for some reason it doesn't really like slow speeds as such. Like now I've just got to turn it up. But, runs pretty well at that speed, what, 25 I think that's on the controller. Uh, it looks a little fast, but that's what it is.
So yeah, guys, um, that's the end of the review and running session. Um, time to give uh, my opinion. Would I highly recommend them? I, I would. They are basic, but they're highly detailed. Um, there is one preserved on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, I believe. Um, it is a nice locomotive. Highly detailed, like I said, highly detailed, but basically a plain livery. These are freight locos, so they're going to be plain black, no lining. Maybe the odd occasion one might have lining, but it's fantastic. Lovely runner. A little high if you get to about 20 25 um, on the combi, gauge master combi controller. Failing that runs well, I've got no issues with it, runs perfectly backwards as well. Um, does intrigue me to see if Hornby um, will do any more of the LNER Q classes. I think one, two, three, and I think it goes up to nine, I believe. I think some are either, so that's the issue. Uh, it does intrigue me if Hornby will go down that avenue. Um, these are a great freight locomotive after all, and I have a little bit of freight, mainly coal wagons, mixture of all sorts. Um, didn't want to overdo it because it's a small layout with lots of wagons, looks a bit odd, but if you want me to try that in the future, more than happy. Um, like I said before, I highly recommend these um, to anyone who collects preserved locomotive, because I believe there's one out, and anyone who just loves um, LNER, um, from Alan Yard to the BR era, uh, this is, must be a must for you guys. Um, I can especially see uh, another person getting one um, who has a northeastern layout, but yeah, highly recommended. Anyway, sorry for the ramble, and I'll see you in the next video. Please take care and goodbye. <laughs>